In this following tutorial, I'm going to teach you on how to set up the keyboard and the trackpad inside of Waterdo. So let's go ahead and get started. So once you have your character selected here, um, which you know, you can check out my previous tutorials if you're confused about how to set up Waterdo. But basically in main properties, make sure that your character is selected. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go into the motion capture. You're going to click on set up motion capture. What you're going to then do is choose the face tracking that you prefer, whether it's media pipe, eye facial mocap, etc. For this case, we're going to choose eye facial mocap. Then you can, of course, change your settings accordingly to what you want. Click on OK. Then for the pose tracking template, we have to make sure to select a very specific type. Either it's media pipe or real live. Uh, the other ones, they will not work with the trackpad or the uh, keyboard because, again, they will not present the settings with it because again, they have full body tracking, so yeah. Um, but for real life here, as well as media pipe, they have the option for the keyboard and trackpad. This is the only way you can actually get working with Wadido. Technically, you could get working via blueprints, of course, if you really don't want to use um, this. But otherwise, though, just to keep things simple, you're going to use it. So let's say we're going to choose media pipe. Make sure to click on yes for both keyboard and trackpad. Then choose your camera. Once you have that set up, um, Wadido will basically load your character to have the keyboard basically. And once you have that, uh, what you're going to then do is you're going to click on the keyboard basically, and you should have a gizmo on your screen here. So middle mouse to click here and all that. So what you're going to do is click and drag your um, the gizmo here so that way you can properly place it uh, wherever you want on your character basically. And then, of course, for the trackpad, click on the trackpad here and do the same thing, basically. Correct the pose as needed. Um, you can, of course, scale it if you so wish or make it smaller. And pretty much in a nutshell, that is pretty much how you can set up a trackpad inside of Wadado. That way, um, if by any chance you don't uh, want any hand tracking or maybe you want it for a little bit of an artistic taste, you can be able to have a keyboard so that way you can be able to type and you can be able to uh, pretty much have some fun, you know, with a nice cool setup basically. And yeah, and if you want to turn it off, just click on the no button for enabled and you can always re-enable it anytime you like basically. Other than that though, I hope that this tutorial helps you out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!